All right then gang, so in the last video we worked on our register widget so that we had a bit of validation first of all when we tried to submit the form, but also then we hooked it up with Firebase Auth so that we could register a new user with an email and a password. So in this video, I wanna move our focus to the signing page, which is this form right here, and pretty much do exactly the same thing, but only this time sign a user in rather than register a user. So we don't want to create a new user, we just want to sign in with an existing user. So it's gonna be a big copy paste job this because I'm not gonna do everything again that we've already done in the register widget because I'm super lazy and I'm sure you don't want to see me type everything out again. So I'm gonna go through it bit by bit, but instead of typing it out from scratch, I'm gonna copy and paste a few things from our register widgets now into the signing widget. So let's go from the top. First of all, in the sign-in widget, we still need that global key right here so we can do a bit of form validation. So let me copy that first of all and paste it in right here. The next thing we need is an error. So we'll store that in our state as well. So let's copy that and paste it over here as well. Just in case Firebase comes back and says, look, you're not logged in correctly, there's a problem, the credentials don't match or something, then we can show an error to the user. So we'll store that error in the state. So as we scroll down further, the next thing we need to do is add the key to the form. Now, I'll just grab that line and come over here and come to the form and paste it in right there. So now we're associating that global key with our form for validation. The next thing to do is these validator functions right here. So we have one for email and one for the password. Uh, in fact, this one is the email at the top and this one is the password. So these are gonna be identical in the other one, okay? Because we have email and password in the signing form as well. So let's grab that, which is just checking that it's not empty and come to our first form field and paste it in. And then let's get the second validator function, which is all of this gigantic long one and copy that and paste it in our second one down here. Okay. So we have our validator functions as well. The next step is to come down here and actually check, is the form valid? So let's grab all of this if check with this stuff inside as well. We'll address the, the contents of this if check later on, but let's copy the whole block for now and go down to the bottom and replace this stuff with that if check. So we're still seeing if the form is valid based on those validator functions. And we're still at the minute doing this, but we no longer want to register with an email and password. We want to sign up. So we'll come to this in a bit, but we'll delete it for now. And down here, I'm just gonna comment this out for a second. That's all, because we're gonna need that later on. We still want to update the error if we get a null response, but we'll comment it out for now. Finally, we need a place to show this error at the bottom so let's grab these two widgets, the sized box and the text widget, which shows the error at the end of the widget and place it after the raised button. So comma and paste, awesome. So if we save this now, what I'm gonna do is just print here something like valid. So if it's valid, then we're gonna see that. So let's just make sure that these validation rules are working. I'm gonna open this up and go to the debug console and do a refresh over there. And currently we're on the sign in, which is where we want to be. I'm gonna to try to sign in and the validation seems to be working. So enter an email, I'm just gonna enter in any old garbage right here and here, press sign in and now we can see valid. Okay, so the validation is working. So let's get rid of that. And the next step now is to create a method inside the auth service class to sign in with an email and password. So in auth.dart in the services folder, let's do that. Now it's gonna be almost identical to this. So again, I'm gonna copy this stuff where we register with an email and password and paste it in right here. Now, instead of a register, we're gonna call it sign in, right? So that's the name of our function that we're calling it. And we still take in these two parameters, email and password, so they can stay the same. And it's still asynchronous. Now, down here, we're still gonna get an auth result when we try to sign in, and we're still gonna await something on the auth instance. 
Now the difference this time is that we're not going to use this method from the Firebase library. Instead, we're going to use a method to sign a user in. And that is just sign in, like so. So now we're saying we want to, oops, not signing user. Now we're saying we want to sign in with email and password. That's a Firebase method. And we're passing in the email and the password that we take in to this function. Now we're trying to do that. It's awaiting that result and then storing it here. And then we're getting a user by saying result.user from this result. Then we're turning that Firebase user into a regular user based on our user model using this function, which we created a while back up here somewhere right here. So that just returns us a user right here based on our user model. So now we're returning that user when the user signs in. If there's a problem, we catch the error, we print the error and we return null. So now all we need to do is go back to our sign in .dart file and use this method. So I'm going to say dynamic result is going to be equal to await. And then we want the auth instance, which we have inside this particular widget, which is declared up here. So we're getting an instance of the auth service, right? And then on that, we want to use the method we've just created on that service, sign in with email and password. Oops, not sign in and not sign in with email and password. Now we need to pass in the email and the password into that, which is just the state of email and password, which we have up here. If I zoom up, we can see email and password. Okay, so that's fine. So we're now awaiting this thing, the result of that, which could either be the user or null. So now we can actually uncomment all of this and check is the result equal to null. If that's the case, then it means there's been a problem signing in. So let's just update the error over here to something like could not sign in with those credentials. So if it failed on the Firebase end, then we're sending this message back to the user and it's all in capitals because I feel like shouting at them. I didn't mean to do that. So let's just change it back. Could not sign in with those credentials. Okay. So if we save this now, and try to sign in with something that's not really valid, the front end validation passes. But if we try to sign in because there's not a user that exists with those credentials, we get a null value back from our method over here where we return null. And therefore, we're saying this is the error. We could not sign in with those credentials. Okay, cool. Now, if we try to sign in with something that does exist because we registered in the last video using an email of mario at the net ninja.co.uk and down here we can say the password was test one two three four i think so let's try signing in with those sign in and it works we get redirected to the home page because we get a user back we're listening for that user in the user stream we're logged in and because we have that user inside the wrapper widget we're now showing the home page instead of the authenticate widget. Okay, so this is all working now. We can now register, we can sign in, and we can log out. All of this authentication stuff is pretty much done now. And the next thing we need to do is to work with data to show the data on the home page of brew preferences. But before we do that, I want to do one more thing with this page and also the register form. And that is to decorate these inputs a little bit and make the signing form and the register form look a bit better.